I'm thinking that shit, the regular song about to come on. Yeah. But this nigga said, Percocet's on the table, it's a pill party? Yeah. I said, hold on now. Yeah, I'm not playing with you. Hold on now. <laughs> Where is this party at? What is the address? Who Slide. do I have to hit up? Slide. I don't do that. <laughs> But I know that party gonna be lit. <laughs> that sounds like a party I wanna be at. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Hakeem, and you are watching Our Generation Music. And today I'm with a guy that has some of my favorite songs right now. Tony Schnow. Tony Schnow, how we doing today? I'm doing good, my How boy. we doing today, my boy? Doing? Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, you was doing right. Okay, bit. I wanted to make sure, because there's like two H's in there. Yeah. And I'm a little slow sometimes. You know yeah, when I, I was coming up, they was being slow, too. They was being slow. Yeah, it's all good, though. We here. It's, it's life, slow. man. We, we way past special ed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Getting money. <laughs> <laughs> man, um, you're going crazy right now. Um, I came across... Your music from uh, my two homie Bills and them. We were in the car. I don't know where we were going, but um, your shit came on. I was like, holy fuck. Like, who, what the fuck is this? They're like, nigga, that's that Tony Schnell. What, yeah. what you mean you ain't on that? Thought you on everything. Yeah. I'm like, all right, man, you put me on, nigga. Then shut up. Thanks. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. Nigga, put me on then. We was listening to your shit and everything, but um, I want to like go back into your past and everything and just like, you know, kind of get to know you for our audience and everything. Um, like, where are you from and, you know, how old are you? So I'm from Cobb County. Uh, I'm 25. 25? 25 from Cobb County. What's Cobb County? Cobb County, that's Georgia. That's a uh, okay. Yeah, it's like North Georgia. It's like a uh, Metro Atlanta, Smyrna, Cobb. Mm -hmm. you know, that's like uh, right outside the city type shit. Okay, bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my homie Bluetooth always says if I was from Atlanta, I'd be um, where Bluetooth? Where would I be from if I'm from Atlanta? Gwinnett. <laughs> I can be from Cobb. Yeah, you can be from Cobb. You're starting to cross over. Okay, I'm crossing yeah. over. You make it to Cobb eventually. Okay. Niggas yeah. trusting me with the peas now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, wait, wait. So like, what's it like growing up in Cobb County and everything? I shit like a, uh, like a, what do I say? Like the, like what do I say? Like a, Lower middle class type shit, you feel what I'm saying? Is it like, like a trapped out suburbs? Because I know yes, those exist. That was a that was a good that, yes. was, that was a perfect I, I actually like I actually lived in one of those. Don't play with me. I lived in yeah. a trapped out suburb yeah. before, okay? I know what that's like. Yeah. You be like the poorest black dude in a rich white town. Six, but six. it like still got like some other black kids that be trapping. They the ones that the sell the drugs and yep. shit, fucking on the little white bitches and uh -huh. shit. Because yeah, we man. the cool niggas and yep. shit. Rebell fresh. Rebelling against their daddy. You know. <laughs> Come on over here, man. You know. <laughs> We're brothers. You know. Like the Wayne bros. Insert the <laughs> Wayne bro clip right now. <laughs> now, all right. Um, when did you, like, first, like, started making music and shit? Like, what point? Where did you first record and everything? Um, I was in high school, for sure. I think I was, like, uh, ninth grade, something mm -hmm. like that. 10th grade, somewhere around there. Yeah, I had a... Uh, I was rapping with these dudes, but I I wasn't rapping like doing no like solo, nothing like that. Or okay. Like, official, nothing like that. I was just like, you know, really for the hoes. It's, you know, you know yeah. why we do it all. Impress the hoes. Yeah, yeah, for the bitches. Yeah, for sure. But <laughs> I did recall that um, I seen you said that you was rapping at Lunchroom. Yeah. And shit like that. But that was like a crucial time in every nigga's life that for freestyled. Sure. Yeah. Like, take us back to that. Well, I'm certified with this over here. Okay. As far as the bars go, you feel what I'm saying? So you could just take it back to the lunchroom. Uh -huh. So the, like, the bars was the same from the lunchroom till now? No, I'm certified. You feel what I'm saying? When you came out the gate. <laughs> I love that. Did you, how many niggas was you bodying and shit at lunch? Like every day? They don't want to rap with me because they know I'm official. Like uh -huh. there's certain dudes that like, they like, nah, Tony not the dude to do that with. We're gonna do that over here. Like, you feel me? Like they tried Tony, to move the a, circle away. He's from a real Tony. rapper. They knew I was a real rapper. Even them niggas, like back then, they knew I was for real. Like, uh -huh. I wasn't no like, you know, just some dude that was gonna be just as a hobby or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Or just some you random, know, local yeah. dude or just something like that. You their feel their best day was when Tony called in sick and didn't show up to school. He did. <laughs> the the <laughs> ciphers were straight that day. Nah, He's like, oh yeah, real. that nigga Tony not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not for real. Oh God. So like you took that from, you know, rapping in the lunchroom and everything to now what, the studio and everything? Yeah. 
how was that like you know making that transition and like oh. first time hearing us yourself on a song and on everything song and shit. like that shit was uh that shit was cool it got me excited maybe want to keep doing it again you mm-hmm. know um but really at the same time i was doing them lunch things i was trying to rap for real i never wanted to be no just do it around the lunch table. Uh-huh. That's why they took me like that. They was like, oh, he no, he's putting out videos. No, he's really good. So you were putting studio. videos and stuff out in high school? I was trying to go do stuff. Yeah, you okay. feel me? Like, I was really taking that initiative to like, you feel me? Just establish myself, make sure people took me serious. Uh-huh. Even if I was just playing around, like, nigga, I'm, you feel me? I'm the guy though. I feel that. Did you did you do anything before like rapping? Did you play any sports or? I try to play a little basketball. You are tall. Yeah, I try to play. What they try to force you to be point guard? Yeah, they did. And really, back I, we was kids. I was really this time we was kids. So they tried to play me a point power forward, but that's not even my. That's, position. Is that a position? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm not LeBron, Only one nigga, nigga like, plays that. I know damn well. Come on, bro. You know I'm not in that position. Like, like nigga, wait, hold on. on there, that's man. the you should have just said the Brown position. That'll okay. be all right there. Like, nah, he he played the Brown. I should have been the point guard. They uh-huh. should have put me there, but they was trying to, you know. I feel that, that, man. But it's it's good though, man. I feel like. You know, sports is not cut out for everybody, but I feel like rappers love basketball though. Mm-hmm. Like they they want to be basketball players too at the end because like I feel like it happens when both rappers and basketball players meet at the club. Yeah. And now it's time <laughs> for who has the most money. It was, I, it's been a competition before that though. Before the club, like, we was already like we trying to get in high school. We trying to foot the same hoes. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Me? We got them. Both of us really trying to make the basketball team for real. And then both of us really be trying to make it in the studio for real. Like we really both the same dudes. Like I feel that it, you know too. Like there's only been like a few. Like damn, has there really have, has there really been like a <coughs> ra- rapper basketball player that kind of I remember Kobe rapped. successfully. I mean Damian Lillard. Damian, I was about to say yeah, Damian Lillard's probably like yeah, the most successful too. one. The Lo- the Lonzo brothers, and the Ball tried. brothers. Shaq tried to list some. Shaq did everything. Yeah, true. That so nigga played a just genie. Him just that. Yeah, you that right. nigga played a genie. He's a renaissance man. For sure. That that is a renaissance man yeah, and is sure. a habitual Chuck abuser. <laughs> <laughs> that, you about. that nigga be abusing the fuck out of Chuck. That nigga oh, be God. like, nigga, you ain't got no ring. Shut up. Why you on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ain't even like that, but I mean, I understand. You gotta have some stats. I feel that you definitely gotta. It's hard, bro. Like I be thinking about shit. Like damn, like. Being in a league and no ring, like after you retired and no ring, like what the fuck mentally, like what the fuck? I, f- I see why, um, I see why niggas be going crazy and shit after like sports and shit. Mm-hmm. Like when you ain't got no fucking ring, like nigga, you fucking lose it. I'd lose my mind if I played all the years and ain't got no ring. It's like compared to like if a rapper was rapping all these years and didn't get no Grammy, like or a plaque or a plaque, you feel me? But should that discourage him though? Like he still put gave something to the game. That that should definitely not discourage you a hundred percent. Cause you know you definitely did give something to the game, but me personally, I'd probably lose my fucking. If mind. that's what you was, yeah. If you set out to be mind. like, I'm supposed to get a ring. Uh-huh. I'm supposed to get a Grammy. If you set that out as your goal, yeah, man, I can understand why you would feel like. Do you, that. do you like you know you're you're bubbling right now and everything like it's mm-hmm. like plaques and Grammys. Like is that on your radar? Or things you want to do? Your bucket list for sure. A Grammy. I mean, but it's not nothing that it's like gonna stop me or like you know if i don't validate it, you it's not gonna validate me at all well, nah for sure the fans validate me the streets validate me but mm-hmm. you know, that would be something to get my mom you know what i'm saying something leave like, it at mom's house yeah you feel me like i couldn't give you the college diploma so but here's the grammy you feel me like, I feel like if you could change like i feel like every year like it just happens the grammy just like we know they're gonna do some wild shit yeah for sure like every year like i know remember macklemore <laughs> The great white hope yeah. <laughs> took that one from Kendrick. Mm-hmm. Man, like if you you feel like one thing like the Grammys could change or anything like that, what would it be? I definitely see it. Uh, well, I don't know. Cause nowadays rap being like is like the number one genre. I feel like so. I would say that mm-hmm. it's gonna give you them platforms, knock them doors down. That's yeah, like super mainstream, like them SNLs and them uh yeah. Sprite commercials and stuff Crazy. like that. But People, we starting to get it without them awards. Like I'm just, you know, sweetie mm-hmm. and McDonald's Travis. meal. Yeah, you feel me? You eat like that shit, keep it gangster. Well, is that one of the, the sweetie meal? Did I eat it? Yeah. I mean, nah, but I would though. You feel me? I would definitely eat sweetie's meal. <laughs> I would definitely eat sweetie's meal. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm on a diet. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> sweetie, I ate your meal, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me and Tony eat your meal. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, yeah, you know. I'm joking. 
Love, respect <laughs> women. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, when did you like, all right, when, like, what were your, in- <laughs> they're laughing at shit. <laughs> uh, what was your, like, inspiration? Like, I know you liked Wayne and everything, but, like, who else were you, you know, inspired by? Who made you want to, like, make music? Uh, Wayne, like you said, uh, Lil B. The bass god. Yeah, Lil B. The uh, goat. Yeah. You know, I could see that, too, because you drop a lot of music, yeah. and he drops a lot of music. I was going to ask you about that. Like, what's, like, a... The thought process behind you drop putting out so much music is that from you know inspiration from the bass god or what is it not just the little b but like atlanta or like just uh you know mixtape artists mm-hmm. you feel me like i kind of uh i was initially coming with some like not dropping that much music but i was talking you can to, tell you can tell yeah new mexico joe talked to me and was hearing some of the music he was like Nigga, what are you doing why is this sitting right here like okay you feel me? why are you not dropping i'm like okay Drop, right. bow, bow, it's, bow, 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 bow. Just started It's time flooding. for that. Yeah, and I started pitching the artists like, you know, Waka, Gucci, Lil Wayne. Niggas had like fucking 30 mixtapes yeah, a year. Yeah, you feel me? So I'm trying to match that type of, you feel me? Hustle. That, that energy, energy. Hustle our way talent. You feel me? Oh, God. Juicy J said that, man. Juicy J did? Juicy J said that. Is Hustle that someone else talent. you're inspired by? Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm inspired really by everybody. Okay. I you, feel like I, the world inspired me. Like, mm-hmm. I take on experiences or like, you know, yeah, experiences and like, you know, what I listen to or what I see, I literally, like from little to big, I inspire by everybody, you feel me? Just I, the fact that you could do something. Yeah, I, and I, I 100% respect that because like, I feel like you can learn something from ever, everybody, whether it's good or bad. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, I could take a little bit from here, take mm-hmm. a little bit from there. Uh, now I saw something, and that's life. Like, I just remember Jaden Smith, crazy ass, had like, <laughs> he's so fucking funny. Shout out Jaden Smith, man. He like was talking about like blocks. Like, I'm not just gonna not jump on his block to get here, and then that block to get here. When, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got, this is life. Like, we're all gotta use each other's block. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. Shout out Jaden Smith. I just wanted to say that. Yeah, we all uh, build the pieces. You we gotta build, build Yeah, yeah, yeah build you ain't got all, what did, uh, what did Kanye say this way? You ain't got the answers? You know? You ain't got all the answers, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, so the song that they played for me, that um, where I initially heard mm-hmm. was The Rock Your Body. Mm-hmm. And when I heard that shit, I'm like, I'm thinking that shit, the regular song about to come on. Yeah. But this nigga said, Percocet's on the table, it's a pill party? Yeah. I said, hold on now. Yeah, I'm not playing with you. Hold on now. <laughs> Where is this party at? What is the address? Who Slide. do I have to hit up? Slide. I don't do that. <laughs> but I know that party going to be lit. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a party I want to be at. <laughs> Man, like, what, what, like draw you you know i know you did the you know the black uh billionaire club tape and everything but mm-hmm. what drew you to like creating that and really making that you know project come to life uh initially i was talking about uh one of my ogs and shit like that and he was talking about like just music coming back to like that state like a hip-hop you feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? that sound yeah so i was trying to figure out something that i could do to like help guide that you feel what i'm saying and initially it was a um me just it started off to me just rapping on old beats yeah like at first it was gonna be like some you know i don't want to say it because i feel like y'all gonna steal my swag but it was let's just leave it it was old beats type shit. you uh-huh. know what i'm saying and then i was with benny and pop star benny and i was and he was like yo you trying to for old beats well shit, for real just dropped the beat tape i said oh for real the real beats He's like, yeah. Really? That was recently? I don't know. Yeah, it was the Neptune one, just for real. Yeah, they had dropped a little beat tape. And I oh, said, shit. oh, I the real beats, for real? He said, yeah. I said, oh, well, shit. Load it up. Load it up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Sheesh. Yeah. That's crazy. Did you, like, write any of that or just all freestyle? No, nah, all freestyles. Off the dome. You don't write it all. Fun. Yeah, I don't write it all. I don't write it I write some songs if the producer takes it too long, but nine times out of ten, my niggas own it. Like if I he's am. cooking up there on the spot, you might just get ahead and start writing. Yeah, if he's taking too long. But if it's due like Cash Cash or Sensei, they're gonna have to be done in like fifteen minutes. So I don't have no time to write. But oh, okay. there's some producers out here that do take like forty five minutes, hour, then I'll be like, all right, bro, let me go ahead and write it down. Man. Okay, I feel it. Yeah. When like I heard the shit, my ass, I'm like, oh like, damn. This is it's hard. Like niggas usually like castrate niggas for doing shit like this yeah. or like get mad. Like, mm-hmm. did you get any hate or anything like that from it? Nah, they were rocking with it. Yeah, it was. It was. I, I 
I mean, I can see why because I I thought it was good. Like yeah, it had sure. this like SoundCloud vibe to like yeah the taste of music that I personally love all the yeah. time. Like I'm gonna be drunk as hell in my house listening to that <laughs> shit. That's what I listen to. So I'm thinking they're What's playing up? that shit because they know I'm listening to it. No, nah. no, nigga, this nigga's talking about a pill party and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, play some more of this shit. They start playing more, and I'm like, yo. This nigga, the ATL free, I'm like, yo, this nigga really going crazy. Appreciate but then it. I go to the crib to go search it up and I see the videos. You like capturing the actual essence and like the actual vibe from those videos. Like, was it hard doing that? Like, um, a little bit. Initially, this started off as just like strictly a mixtape. It was nothing else more than that. Mm -hmm. like, but Jelani came in and was like, bro, this is not just the tape. Or it can't be just overlooked because I wasn't even, I'm not promoting it. I'm not. This is for my fans. I'm not like mm -hmm. I'm not saying too much. I'm not doing extra out of ordinary. It was for fun. I'm not I like you can hear on the skits, I'm like talking directly to my fans, like on some chilling. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, nah, these need videos. Fuck that. You feel what I'm saying? I really was on Jelani. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, like, shout out that yeah, shout out Jelani, Jelani man. Ooh, that nigga yeah. snap. On oh, God. Back to back. Are you gonna shoot yeah. any more videos for that? We might. We might. We over here, um, I'm trying to get a bigger budget. <laughs> you feel me? So, you know, nah, and you know go. what too? Like the more I listened to it, and I kept listening to it and shit, and I'm like, "Yo, man! Like it made me really want to see you and Pharrell locking, or yeah, you and Chad, like yeah, both. Like yeah. that would be. A I'm crazy trying to get their tape. attention, man. What's up? <laughs> I can't, bro. Yo, man! I already tweeted it out. I wish yeah. I knew them. I would tell them, like, Thanks. yo, go lock in with Tony Snow, cause like. They gonna get you it. guys come around one day. They definitely have a folder from that 2004 space yeah, I need piece it. that come didn't on. get used. Come on, that we need to send to Tony Snow because yeah. man, we need we need that. I'm man. trying to bring y'all back. I'm trying to make Neptune's the hottest producers again. Oh God, they they've been working with a lot of new artists and stuff. I've been noticing that. So you yeah, know, I seen they time, tapped in with Brent. Yeah, they tapped in with Brent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wasting time it was fire. Mm -hmm. That was legendary. Crazy, independent artists getting Drake. Um, a Drake feature. Drake been giving out a lot of um, independent artists features. He's going like crazy. Yeah. Oh, he be tapped in. Drake really tapped in, man. Um, but yeah, that shit was crazy, man. Like, I really... Uh, are you going to give him a, a part two to that or no? Are you feel Because like, you ran through a lot of those beats. I did. <laughs> I'm like, no, it doesn't stop. It kept going. I'm like, yeah, hold was, on. This nigga ran through everything. <laughs> I'm like, damn. How long did it take you to make the whole thing? Like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, maybe that. I don't know. Maybe a week and a half. Maybe two weeks we'll say to like master and get the cover art and all that. All that stuff. Yeah, so two weeks for that. I but I want part two, if for real, let me do it. You yeah. want to do the official yeah, one? Yeah, I want to do official one. If for real, let me do it. If not, we're going to uh, we gonna rock out. We're going to call it Timberland. And like you got on that Love You Better beat, like which is one of the hardest Neptune beats I think there ever is. That was if one there's of my favorite one. ones. So. That. LL body that and just like the, the vibe from that. So I don't even know what the fucking scale or whatever he used mm -hmm. to get that sound, but shit was crazy. Yeah, they went ape shit. That's and I finally heard him like this nigga went on that. Oh, that's hard, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Um do you have like a favorite like Neptune beat or Pharrell beat or um I think it was that touch. Well, Omarion, yeah, I think it was touch. Body that I think yeah. he might have wrote that too. Yeah, that was it. Hard. Was time he was just writing, and giving crazy. Bro, you he, he could hear his uh his background ad libs in um in that song too. Touch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was for real. You saying that touch part was for real? Come on, man. Wow, you learned. You hey, ain't hear. You, you ain't hear Pharrell in that day. song. Wow. I no, I'm now I am like right now. Damn. Will they? Will they? What's the name us? Damn. Now we'll play it after. Um, okay, moving on. Cash, cash. Spoke on him earlier. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like he? You know, when you guys work together, everyone loves it. You guys, you know, you guys are always, you know, giving a good product. Like, what do you? What does he bring out of you creatively? Like, some fun. Like, just you know, be myself. Like, mm -hmm. just like, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just, makes music easy. I'm guessing. Yes, it's so. I love making music. You know, it's, like it's none. I he don't push me to do nothing. Like he don't push me to do nothing. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I want to impress him so bad. But at the same time, like I'm like we're chilling. We're, we're chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you guys ever met? I'm, is it yeah, still yeah, getting yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, we met in the studio and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys collabed on a beat while in the studio while he's cooking up? Yeah, that pressure beat. I did the beat with him. Okay. Yeah, I did the beat on it. Was that your first time ever like collabing with a producer on a beat? No, nah, I did. I did some beats with Brent Rambo. I did some beats with Sensei. Okay. I did some um, beats with Braylon. 
I did. Ain't a, that was the first time I rapped on one though. That actually came out. In the yeah, whole that was product. First I rapped on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I, I used to, if I rap, if I made a beat with a producer, I used to like give it to 10K or AR or something like that. Like just hand it off to one of the rappers or something like that. Oh. Yeah, somebody close by. Okay. Have you ever think you'll take producing seriously or anything? Like maybe more serious than you. Maybe I'm trying to. I'm trying to uh, make my focus, keep my focus on lyric lyricism right okay. now. So you know, eventually I'm gonna, I might dump my internet. All right, man, I feel that. And you, um, you said you just said lyricism and everything, mm -hmm. lyrical, schmerical, yeah, um, lyrical, lyrical shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, do you have like, like, fa like a favorite like a lyrical actual rapper? Like, besides all the vibey shit you be, you know, what I'm saying outputting and everything. Um. You made another rapper, right? Yeah. Um, Jada Kiss. I know we all watched him, but like, wow. I've been respecting the man. I've like, been respecting boy, Jada. I'm from. I'm, I'm pins not to be played with. Man, I am a big fan of Jada Kiss. Yeah. That nigga. A dog. I know this is a commercialized bar, and the real OG niggas gonna hate, but that nigga said jean jacket with the sleeve cut. Oh, <laughs> but the way he said it, I was like, hold on, let me go cut up my jean jacket. Right now, bitch. <laughs> right now. What am I saying? Bro, he said, no. <laughs> then he hit the little salsa voice on it too. Yeah. I was like, yo, nah, this nigga a legend, bro. He's too fire for this. Like, mm -hmm. jean jacket with the sleeves cut. Mm hmm. Do the pressure on them just when they thought I'd ease them. Come on, man. We put my Tim's on right put now. Put your Tim's on. <laughs> stomping out of New York right now, nigga. So, 10, uh, ten Duncan yeah. caught the Rona recently. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. Alleged Rona caught her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. Let's not joke about it. Hopefully, yeah, everything's good. Joke about it. Let's not joke about that. He's we, good. He's good. He's, he's, he's good. He didn't catch it. It's okay. all good. He's straight. All right. You ever, you ever thought about getting the vaccine? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> nigga, me neither. <laughs> nah, I can hold you. I'm gonna get it at the end. My but partner the just end. got it, bro. He did. Yeah, bro. I was so sick of him. I said, bro, you ain't you don't care about me. <laughs> Damn, bro, I want to see you get old. Like, dang, bro. Damn, I want to see you raise your kids and get gray hair. And all I feel that. like they're gonna de demonetize this video because <laughs> we talking shit about the vaccine. But like, <laughs> oh, there's vaccinated niggas in this room. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's chill. I be hey man, eat y'all sea moss out there too. I be on the sea moss every day. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we go get vaccinated, but just not right now. Thanks. Niggas got a whole booster shot coming up. Like niggas have to take a third shot. Thanks. <laughs> Let them get done with that and then call me. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I ain't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> my homie said something off camera that y'all might know <laughs> we gonna say it but you know what I'm saying <laughs> hit that nigga up <laughs> chill, chill chill but anyway um, your last uh, no 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 back to you and Tim Duncan we got off it was a good joke uh, you guys work really well together what, what you know what makes you guys collaborate so well you know overall like Give us some, you know, shit we really fucking like. That's my brother, man. So, you know, I, I feel like I make best music with people that really know me mm -hmm. or like people that really like, I make really good songs with my plug. Like, I, your my, real plug. Like, I really make good songs with him, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you use those songs for inspiration, but like, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, me and bro make some real good music. You know what I'm saying? Like, people that really know me or like mm -hmm. I really know them, we just able to click better. I don't know. Like, is it just like, Maybe real that you guys can like really talk to each other and really vibe, like possibly, or we just have a conversation about what we about to do before. Mm -hmm. I'm knowing what this nigga like, like so I'm trying to play off with. You know what I'm saying? Like I know mm -hmm. for a fact. You how feel like he challenges you too, like creatively in the studio. Yeah. Oh yeah, for shit. So that nigga is hard. <laughs> like that nigga is raw. That nigga, like I be trying to talk shit like on the like I'm the greatest lyrical rapper in the underground. But that nigga right there is definitely right behind me. Nah, yeah, he yeah. hard man. Definitely gotta get his interviewing soon for yeah. sure. Um, another person you grew up, uh, came up with, Lil Wap. Yeah, my boy. Can you tell us how you and Lil Wap met? Uh, met and everything. I met him at 10K. Okay, at the same yeah, time. No, him and uh, 10K was hanging out, and then Tim was playing my music around, and he was like, "Hey, who is this?" 
Hey, bro, tell him pull up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I pull up on him on the bluff. You feel me? It used to be like him, K. Prane, Cito, Quincy, Lacani, Paint. They all had like a little house or something like that in Atlanta. Okay. Up over there type shit. What? Damn, what house was that? Was that the house with Key and all of them? Or no? That's a different house. Mm-hmm. Different time period. This is a. They, they called this dude Unk or something like that. He had like the music house where everybody yeah. was at. Yeah, Dwight Kane stayed there too, I think. So you've been around this for a pretty long time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've been in here, yeah, for sure. Damn. Yeah, I've been I'm watching the game for I me. Mean, I've been waiting my turn. Just waiting your turn. Yeah. Staying patient, watching other niggas. Do they thing. Do know? they thing. Trying to calculate, figure out how I'm going to get in there or how what I'm going to do when I get in there type thing. Even doing stuff even better or. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think the best way to learn is from other people's mistakes too. At least sometimes we got to make our own mistakes. Too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, your last project, the latest release. Mm-hmm. How many dropped this year? Three? How many? Dang, nigga Let's dropped so that. much more. <laughs> four, even... three, four, something like <laughs> I'm that. I'm thinking, well, there's three on I know, album music. Okay, okay. Three on album music is two that's not. Yeah, okay, yeah. so five. Damn, yeah, because I ain't talk about it like that. But this nigga working. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> um, authentic goods with uh, Sensei ATL, mm-hmm. your latest uh, release. You know what? What did you want to like accomplish with that? Like, was there an, a goal in mind or anything, or was it just like another like, yo, let me get some music out? Well, me and bro hadn't worked in like seven years, type shit. Like, mm-hmm. well, we work on and off, but we hadn't like for real made a project. Like that was the first producer I came in and shit with. Like, you feel yeah. me? Like seven six years ago like first time i was really trying to rap before i like i just got off youtube beats like i'm not rapping on youtube beats no more i need Growth. a real producer this is the guy mm-hmm. you feel me so we had we had made a tape since then so we were just trying to like show how better we got or show you know how much we had grown since yeah. that type thing you feel me and did, did you guys lock in together or was like more sending you beats nah he pulled up to my truck okay he put up in the house like you feel me like Plug was gone for like so two you, weeks. We wait, just so you be music. record? You got your whole setup in your trap? Yeah. That's, I think I'm a trap music. <laughs> nigga trapping and trapping. No, you no, I mean? no. I'm gonna be really, really lyrical, schmerical now. Trapping and rapping. Yeah, well, I rap. You feel me? I'm just a rapper, so don't. <laughs> you feel me? Don't put that in nothing. I just rap my friends. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the rapper. That's it. Nothing else. Don't call me. You need a three five. Hey, don't call not, me. You need he, nothing. Nothing like yeah. that. I'm not. I'm not picking up. I don't have nothing for you. I'm nothing. Zips, but lines, no, no. Nothing. You do have something for them. Authentic ba- good. You, bars. bars. You feel me? Call me for that. You call need him me to put some bars. Show like that. Mm-hmm. Features, anything like that. I got call you. some bars. I can even A uh, and R for you. Yeah, yeah. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> buddy. <laughs> oh man. Um, Booth Pack Mookie, yeah. Am I saying his name right? Yeah, that was up there. Uh, Booth Pack Mookie um, is one of the only features on the project. Why, why did you only go with him? Like, why did he think he just suited the project the most? Um, see, that go back to Cash Cash. That's Cash Cash's friend or whatever. Okay, you feel me? And I just seen. I had seen him a little bit before he caught a lot of his fame or whatever. Mm-hmm. I ain't saying he wasn't doing his thing because he was definitely doing his thing, but he wasn't as where he at right now. And I just felt like I needed to help him or just it really extend my hand. And he just moved. He had literally just moved 10 minutes from my house. So I was like, nigga, mm-hmm. let's make music together. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, you if know. we don't make music, like. Yeah, you feel bro. me? And I'm trying to fuck with the youth. I'm trying mm-hmm. to put my hands in there, keep, you know what I mean? You know, I fuck with the youth. Yeah, no, nah, he's hard for sure. Those songs yeah. was definitely dope. Appreciate One thing that stood out to me really about you too was your cover arts. They're like super weird and random. Yeah. Like, what? Where does the inspiration come for your cover arts? Is it just like the person that's doing it, or are these are like your ideas too? Um, both. I seek out those guys that I know for sure are gonna do something crazy. Okay. Yeah, but you ever heard of the band Gorillas? What? I yeah. Love so like, I look at like their type of artwork, uh-huh. or really rock and roll. Like, you know what I'm saying? How just yeah. like super different. Like, I might. Have Go to a record store or mm-hmm. like a guitar center or something like that and just like literally just look at them like, okay, you feel me? what kind of colors that we use or what like symbols or something like that. You mm-hmm. feel me? So I'm like, like what's would I'm looking for when I pick an album or something, if I'm trying out a new artist or something yeah. like that, I'm looking at something that's like crazy ass cover art. Like, you feel me? Like, so I was trying to pick something that would make somebody like just you don't know who I am. But you intrigued and want yeah, to listen you to feel this. me? You don't know what my music sound like, nothing like that. You just that look hard. Hey, who this? Yeah, this look hard. 
who this right here? Mm-hmm. Why the fuck is there a little like, let's see, what is it like? Hey, why is there a little animated guy holding a brick, a, a brick pal. A pal. <laughs> <laughs> with gold teeth? Mm-hmm. 3D. That was a 3D render. My homie did 3D. Um, yeah. Yeah, that shit was that shit. I was like, OK, yeah, this is fucking this is pretty dope. Um, what do you think? Like, let's let's talk about like your growth and everything. Like, what do you think you need to do to reach that level? that next level in your career or where you want to go? Like, or like, what do you feel like, you know, might also be like stopping you from reaching that level? Um, Time, I'm, I'm not, I just think it's all a matter of time, honestly. Okay. And strike when the iron hot, you feel me? Like, I'm not seeking out nothing and mm-hmm. I'm not like, you know, pressed for anything, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm sure everything happens. When it happens, you it happens. Me? Like, if it had happened earlier, y'all might not fuck with me. <laughs> you feel might, me? But might, like, yeah, you feel it's all a matter of time type thing. Like, I might not got to certain songs or certain features, certain play, anything. Yeah. The things that y'all, the fans might like, mm-hmm. might not have gotten if I had. Like, I had this one song that went crazy when I was like fifteen. Mm-hmm. That shit, like, it's still to this day going viral. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what song is this? It's called "Look What I Got On." I don't really talk about it like that, but it's on all the two K shits. It's on all the. It's all, but I could have. Try my heart. Yeah, it's all on the 2K songs, them uh, you know, them um the montages and shit like that, all the little oh, vlogs on okay. TikTok. And I could have took the initiative to do Run a video that? for that. Or yeah, try harder to like push that song uh-huh. and like really associate myself with it. But I'm like, I wasn't ready for that. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't maybe it wouldn't have got the cardo placement. I might not have got the the uh, met 10K Duncan. I might not have met, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Like so I'm just living life, just letting it all happen. So what I'm getting is you're a true believer in your story. For sure, like 10 toes down, 100%. double down, all that. And I feel like too, like, man, when you get so high, the only way from there is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I love that steady, gradual growth, man. Yeah. Like, I'm a big fan of that, especially with artists or just even like building, you know, you can't, also this is life. You ain't gonna control what you can't control. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But if you can and <clears throat> put some stuff in place, like, yo, I wanna slowly, like, I'm cool, bro. I'm slowly, but I feel like too, like a lot of things, what happens is like, maybe like artists or other people will see what other people have or what they got going. And now they're chasing that yeah, instead of like chasing nah. you know, you're on your own path, you, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which is path. dope. Mm-hmm. I, I really like that. I think that's going to take you very far because niggas out here will bring it back to the club. They see a nigga and they doing good, but they see a nigga in the club. And now they want to throw 10,000 with the same nigga. Like, nigga, chill, nigga. Fuck around to go try and hit a lick. Just hit a lick to just to get tipped. Now, now you, you go to jail. You now you going to jail. Now you're you trying to press. Just because you trying to press somebody. Exactly. Now you did a song with Taylor Swift just so you it thought press, it was nigga, that, You don't even do music. You don't even associate with Taylor Swift. Swift not nigga, even, just to get a just pop to hit. Do that, bro. Like, like no, nigga, no. No, 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 no. Stay down. Stay. When you use time for that record, it's time for that, that record, bro. Let me seek that out. And like, you know, like someone, a fan had said like, you know, like they had, you remind him of like currency, or like Spitter, like you can have something like that. Is that, is is he any type of inspiration for you or anything? For sure, currency and Wiz Khalifa is a big influence on me. I had, they like the only people I listened to when I was smoking taste. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I can you know? see that. What about yeah. like Larry June? I feel like you can, I mean, I'm not trying to limit you or put you in any box, but yeah. I feel like you can have a career like that, you know, yeah. like end up being like one of those guys. Yeah, for sure. I'm a, I, I, I definitely uh, Wiz admire like those kind of, of artists. Wiz got one of the biggest rap songs ever. <laughs> like, niggas be forgetting, bro. Like, no, me. He has a song that if the aliens came and fucked us up right now. Bro, got it. Bro, got it. If we had to reteach life, he has a song that's going to be replayed. Not a lot of rappers have that. For sure. Like, you talk about one of the first niggas to go, rappers to go, like. Yeah, I'm right. Those type diamond. of they, he leaving his mark. Real mark. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Not saying anyone's whatever, but like, no, nah, like come that on, boy's bro. got a mark left, like for like, sure. Like the world knows about my boy, like without a doubt. And that's and what he, I'm trying to. You go know what's crazy? Like he wasn't even gonna like do that verse for "See You Again," but he did it, and that was probably like one of the best things he's ever did for his life. Like, nigga, like that song is snap, amazing. Like a hundred years from now. 200 BC, like that shit is gonna get played. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he will never get tired of that song. Um, even when uh, they might even bring it back when the Fast and the Furious crossover with Jurassic Park and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> let me chill. Let me chill. Bluetooth, I gotta chill. All right. Uh, you you bet you um 
you know, Cardo earlier. You played me some of the music. Yeah. Fire. I appreciate it. Um, how did you and Pro, uh, you know, Cardo link, and what can we maybe possibly expect this project or like an update or anything like that? I really ain't supposed to talk about it, but you know, we, it's here now. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> I don't know what it. I don't know. We 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 just making music. You know I what I'm saying? That. I don't. It, it could end up just being a song. It could end up just being three songs. It could just, you yeah. know what I mean? We just making music. Well, I heard three songs that were pretty good. Appreciate so it's that. definitely more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Cardo, we are putting the pressure on. <laughs> Officially, Cardo. I heard yeah. three good ones. Appreciate that. <laughs> what do you got to do? Add what? Four more? And that's like, that's a little project See, right we there. Ain't, we ain't just added though. We trying to like, you know, make quality. We, okay. we come with quality music. We're not just quantity over here. You I know? feel that. Which is good. Um, which is very good. Cardo's a legend. Even back to Wiz, man. Him and Wiz got... Cushion orange juice is no, he knows, he knows how legendary I feel about him. He's a fucking legend, man. Yeah, he knows how I feel about him. That that project, I'm is... not scared to tell bro people how I feel about this. Nah, if me neither. You a legend, bro. I'm you a legend, fuck. bro. Even if we beef, listen, if I tell you, you hey. hard and we beef th- 10 whatever weeks from now, like, you're nigga, you still hard, <laughs> nigga. Still put in that you're word, like, bro. I'll be like, yo, that nigga hard, but fuck him. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's simple. Like, all right, yo, like, I'm not a hater. Like, that's a real hater. Like, you know that nigga hard, but now y'all beefing and like, no, nigga, you hard, nigga, but Thanks. you're a weirdo, too. All right, peace. <laughs> you know what <laughs> nah, I'm saying? No like, cap. Like, that's weirdo, real. You weird still, but you, you still weird. wrong. No, that's give you your credit. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Stay your ass over there, though. On me. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. Um, shit, man. Uh, what, what do you, where do you see yourself in, like, five years from now? Like, if, you know, you could pinpoint, do you want to have, like, a label or maybe merch, your own brand? Uh, I just take it day by day. I mean, the goal is to be the Jay Z of Atlanta, so you know, wherever you see that ass, you like feel that. What I'm saying? Just watch the show, the Hovey Hove of Atlanta. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Somebody called me that the other day. I stuck with it, I ran with that. You got like it. That, yeah. Like, nigga, you ain't about to tell me this, and I don't yeah. think I'm about to go tell my mama or some For shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you tell the homies, like, yeah, that nigga said I was the Hove of it. I'm gonna okay, be that. Man. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that title. That's, That's hard, I'm man. Uh, put on everybody I can. You know what I'm saying? Is there like a, like a favorite um, Jay Z moment you have? Uh, I really like the Otis moment. <sighs> the like, video. God, I just remember my my childhood just seeing that. Like uh, that the was video too. Iconic bro? as hell to me. I still watch it. Yeah, no cap. Bro. Like it's brand new. These niggas were so ahead. Hey, you know that Kanye wanted to put nigga in front of every name of every song on That's an amazing idea. I don't know why he didn't. You know, Jay-Z. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> It was a great idea. He didn't do that. But Jay-Z's like, listen, Kanye, Kanye, I'm telling you, we got to go sell this right now. Facts. <laughs> like, the, the guys over there, they're not going to really You're like not going it. for that. You're not going nah, for I that, believe Kanye. We're going to keep niggas. I would have made them, though. You Jay Z and Kanye. I feel like Jay Z now. No. Jay Z after he got a billion dollars would have done it. Like yeah. he would have yeah, done it right. now. Feel, yeah. He was still yeah. on that way. Like Kanye, yeah, we can't do that. We still got to get the billion. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Hope. <laughs> they don't even that that album was so iconic. That Bro. was the first album I ever bought. Like for real, in my hand. Went to the store Yo, the, the the artwork for that shit was too crazy. It was like a cross. But it was like Kanye's face over here and with the cat. And I know it's a leopard. And then Jay-Z's face over there. Even the cover, bro. Everything about that shit. You know, they also like, they also recorded that in no studios. So it didn't get leaked. They only recorded it in hotel rooms. The and best it was music never... get made in hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> even Wayne. The best music Wayne get made Wayne used to rent rooms. out the Beverly yes. Center like fucking three, four floors. And it would just be him. Um, this is when he first met Drake and signed. Well, not first met him, but signed Drake. Had Drake on the road. Most of So Far Gone was made at the Beverly Center. like Or even just mixed there. It was a lot on the road and then even mixed and recorded there. And that studio shit is played out. <laughs> I don't even like studio. <laughs> real studio I like record play, though. Out. That studio I do like. That's a fun place. It ain't hot. Record playing is fun. I like record playing. I don't know. It's just maybe embedded in me. Just because I, I would go there so much. Shout out record playing. Got some memories up there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. We uh we usually do this to um you know close it out and everything. What what's your message for our generation? Um work hard. Don't think nothing given to you. Ain't nobody out here handing out nothing. Ain't nobody out here 
giving no special kind of nothing. You got to work your ass off to mm-hmm. get where you want to be. Straight up. Straight up. Like like tw- like 21 Savage said, straight up. Tilly. Straight up. All right, my boy. Appreciate you. Hey, thank you for having me.